Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Pest Setters here on Shared Moments with Justice. This is the series where we bring you Pest Setters, people who come up with innovative ways to give us solutions to everyday problems. And today on set, we have a Pest Setter. She has such a long profile that if I start talking about it right now, we will not end. But I'll give her the opportunity to introduce herself. <laughs> Madam Caro, yes, Karibu yes, Sana. Asante. Yen, it's such a struggle to introduce you <laughs> because <Yes. laughs> I don't know if I should use um anti <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, to show that, up. I don't know how to put that in English, mm -hmm. but in vernacular it comes out so nice and so <laughs> well. Tatawa Moreo. <laughs> Tatawa Moreo. <laughs> yes, traditionally in my community, it mm. is the auntie who used to advise a girl on the things that the mom could not talk about. Mm -hmm. And so the people who give me that, I actually, it's my audience who gave me that name. Oh, nice. They said, um, they attributed to uh, my, my teachings and everything to that aspect that an auntie will tell you. Anything. anything about life and for Moreo, Utamu <laughs> is because I'm talking about sexual and reproductive health. Yes. So whenever um, in African culture, talking about sex seems like Ooh! such a big deal. But <laughs> yes. you give it live and direct without hiding anything, yes, yes. you know, and it should be like that. Mm. Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Tell yes. them who you are. Some of them have not met you. Yes. Please, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. Uh, sometimes, just like Josephine is telling you, I also don't know how to introduce myself sometimes. I, I wear different hats. I am Caro, your health coach. And Caro, your health coach, I use natural resources to see how we can prevent and manage diseases and keep a healthy lifestyle. Caro, your health coach, teaches on matters of natural, indigenous, African, locally available products mm -hmm. and resources that we have so that we can live a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I am a um, cancer survivor and a cancer victor. Beautiful. I run a non-profit called Held Sister Foundation. So when I'm there now, I am a victor. Uh, when I'm Carol, your health coach, I am more of a teacher. I'm also Tatawa Murio. Tatawa Murio <laughs> is because I teach sexual and productive health related issues. Mm. Up and above that, I am an author. Exactly. I'm, 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 I'm perusing through your book. Yes. And I'm like, people should get this book yes. because it has a wealth of knowledge. knowledge yes. yes. And I, have, I also have another one. I have a Glass of Life mm -hmm. and I have Natural Remedies. Hey, madam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have also innovated some of the products, my best product being Happy Vagina Oil. Yes, the famous <laughs> Happy Vagina Oil. <laughs> and that is why most people now call me Tatawamure and most of the other products. I have not, I've tried not to tamper with nature. I am a naturopathic health coach. And mm. as a naturopath, I don't tamper with nature. Yes. I leverage on what nature has. I mix with the, what we civilization has brought to us. And we work together to reduce the side effects to reduce you, we just work with the natural traditional mm -hmm. and the civilization and we merge them and we make it happen and you're able to process them without adding or removing anything re especially removing yes. anything yes. even yes. through the process yes indeed you're a yes. pace setter <laughs> Thank you. So, um, and I also now run a company called Rejuvenating Nature's Beam or R&B. Mm -hmm. uh, R&B is literally what it says. We rejuvenate nature's smile. Like we are trying to take us ourselves back to nature. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. literally that is what we do. And we are consultancy firm. We also have um, R&B school where we teach this thing. We teach how to use the natural resources. Madam. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but I love the fact that you're documenting all this. Yeah. It's about some, it's about time somebody did this. Because especially when you do it, you document it in any way, either in mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. in books. Yes. You know, you're leaving this wealth of knowledge to the other generations mm. and you're giving people really valuable knowledge. You'll tell us how to get these books mm. and all your products. Mm. But today, mm -hmm. we are here for a special course. Yes. Because one of the issues that you solve mm -hmm. is issues to do with menopause. You address yes. that a lot. Yes. yes and yes. you have extensively talked about that. Mm. I remember seeing one of your episodes talking about your experience with early menopause. Yes. So perhaps briefly, mm -hmm. you can just talk about that mm -hmm. 
in a very brief, mm -hmm. just to let our audience know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, fine. Before I even tell you that, I want to tell the audience, now this is not for you, Josephine. Yes. I want to tell the audience that I was hiding for so many years, for more than 10 years. And the platform shared moments with just us. Yes. They literally, yes. literally took me out of that cocoon. And in one year, I've seen myself impact so many lives because of that platform. So for wow. me, I'm all forever thankful to this platform. You're welcome. Because I used to think I'm shy. I, I really honestly used to Who? think I'm shy. Who is shy? <laughs> <laughs> Until I came to shared moments with Justice. And wow. later, so many lives were impacted. To date, people still call me and say, thank you for sharing your story. Wow. So I needed to mention that before now. I thank, you, thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. Mm. Carol is actually one of the earliest guests, yes. one of the people. You are among the very people who trusted in us among the pioneers mm. of shared moments with justice mm. so we also want to thank you for that and you can visit our channel shared moments with justice you'll find carol's story her journey with cervical cancer mm. and all that she went through yes so, so carol, that's where my journey started the yes. journey with cervical cancer mm -hmm. i went through um i was diagnosed with cervical cancer and that means the choice of treatment that i was my doctor gave me for treatments and the yes. one that i chose was would subject me to early menopause. I was mm. only 27. And so it means I had to remove my reproductive system. So naturally, that means that I went through menopause. And when I was going through the journey, it was so difficult because one, the women around me were not understanding because they have never, they had not experienced. I went through menopause before my mom and before Imagine. my aunties. Imagine. So, and my age mates would not <laughs> understand hot flashes at CG what. So I ended up researching to help myself. Mm. And then later I was like, oh my God, so many other women are going through this. Why don't I capitalize and do a lot of research on menopause mm. so that I can be able to help other women. Because later I went, I took my mom through the stages of menopause. When she was now experiencing Yes, when that. she was experiencing it, my mm -hmm. aunties. And then I was like, wow. Okay, so to date, every, I think in a week I see more than 20 women who wow. are struggling with menopause. Mm -hmm. That is one-on-one. -on -one. And mm -hmm. then online, of course, there are so many who reach out. So for me, menopause is not theore theoretical. Mm -hmm. It is very practical. It's in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I've seen firsthand how it comes with so many challenges that are not addressed by the conventional treatment. Mm -hmm. So a woman gets up, ends up being so confused. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel we need to address the men. <laughs> Let me just <laughs> yes. cut you short there. Yes. Because um, I, I, whenever I interact with mature women, which I do in my line of job mm -hmm. most of the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I used to think that menopause is a good thing because they are like... Many mesha fika menopause. I don't struggle with those things. Yes. But then I later on, through you actually, I got to understand that it's a whole process. It's a struggle. It's a struggle, actually. Yes. So yes. kind of kindly take us through the struggles that one experiences pre and during menopause. Okay. okay. So there are three phases of menopause. Okay. We have perimenopause or premenopause or perimenopause. Mm -hmm. When the body is already start starting to tell you, uh, now, Josephine, please prepare. You are, we are just about to stop producing the eggs. And that is one of the most confusing phase. How? Because the struggle in your body, the body is trying to say, uh, I'm used to producing an over every month. So the hormones misbehave. One, your body stops or starts deteriorating in production of estrogen. And mm -hmm. estrogen is the hormone that makes you the woman. And ah. so the body's like, oh my God. It's confused. It's confused. Number two, the body's uh, systems and the production of the dif different minerals. That This is when it hits the body like, okay, you gave birth, yes. You gave calcium to your child, yes. This is when I'm going to eat you that you don't have calcium. Like this is when it, the body hits and realizes I don't have mineral of called calcium. I don't have, I don't know, I don't have zinc. I don't have vitamin D. Most women at that age, they are diagnosed with low vitamin D, mm -hmm. low magnesium, mm -hmm. low calcium. They are having issues with back pains. They are having issues. Incidentally, if you look at the symptoms of perimenopausal, they are more than 40. Okay. This is when a woman, some women, their hair will fall off or it will thin. To some, which it can be either way, to some they will start growing beard, they will start growing area in their pelvic area, up going up in their chest. Mm -hmm. so they will increase in size. Yes, everything, okay. el, everything I'm talking about goes two ways. Some mm -hmm. people will oversleep. Nana pala wa mama, 
Ava tuko matatu. Kwa kanisa. The way I love my sleep. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you make me think of that. I mean that stage. Yes, <laughs> then sleep. Then there's another lot that uh-huh. will have no sleep at all. So they get in some insomnia. Mm-hmm. There, there are those that is the age that most women are told they have arthritis. Because mm-hmm. the bone, the strength of the bones are deteriorating. The calcium levels are down. Some women are told they have back pains. Okay. Now the most the most shocking are some things like um, very sore breasts and woman and a woman will come As to me as if they are yes. still developing yes some women have even come to tell me guy i think i have mastitis because it's so painful the breasts are sore okay so these are some of some of the other symptoms that i've seen is uh, sometimes the tongue or the top of the the roof of the mouth tastes a metallic taste the way your body behaves when you're pregnant. Imagine mm-hmm. that is how sometimes it does. So wow. when a woman experiences that, she's wondering. There's another one who will come and tell you in their ear, they're hearing. Okay. Ama they feel blocked. Mm-hmm. There, some of them will have teary eyes. Some of them will stop seeing. Some of them will have dry eyes. Okay. What I'm saying is one body can experience all the 40. But and this, at, uh, for a span of how long? It depends. It can last up to 15 years. Depending okay, with your genes. It's scary. <laughs> depending <laughs> with your genes, it uh-huh. can last up from 35 up to 55. And okay. then that is when you will receive your menopause. But now, thanks to you, mm-hmm. you have managed to curb some of these problematic issues yes. through, through natural ways. Yes. yes. Because Kindly. Uh, all these things I'm telling you, they should not scare you. And I don't want to scare them. They sound our, our very audience. scary. Yes. yes. Not everyone gets to, to go through these things. Mm-hmm. Some women will never understand what we are talking about. But there's a woman who will go through all these things. Now, the thing about menopause is just like pregnancy. You wake up in the morning, you feel sleepy. Tomorrow morning, imagine there's no sleep. Then the other day, your mood swings are crazy. The next day, you don't, want, you don't even know what to. So you don't know. You, they are not fixed symptoms. So what I do and the innovation I've come with is to help the things to help for every symptom I've come up with an answer for that symptom to okay. manage it and to make it manageable because man it is it's chaotic. Okay. That is the perimenopausal. Then the, there's the menopause stage where the blood now start, stops your menstrual period stops. Let me cut you short. Yes. So while you're going through all these symptoms, the nausea, the sleepy, yes. the beard, the you soreness still of have breast, your periods. you're still receiving your periods. Yes. Some, pe- some women even get fibroids. They get uterine growths. Yes, I was about to yes. come to that. Yes, some women experience those things. So you're still experiencing your periods. The menopause itself is when we say a woman did not receive her periods for a period of 12 months. Mm. That is when we automatically say she has undergone the process of menopause. Now there is another stage called postmenopausal. That comes at what eighty? <laughs> <laughs> there is no eighty. <laughs> that comes I am out. currently postmenopausal ten years later. Okay, how I does still that experience feel? hot flashes? I experience cold flashes. I still get mood swings. If I don't know how to manage it, man, it goes crazy. What is hot and cold flashes? <laughs> In layman's <laughs> language. Those are symptoms of menopause. <laughs> hot flash, when it comes, I feel like there is a fan. It's like I'm inside a fan. Something like someone slaps you with heat. Pooh. And then, after a few minutes, in Aisha, baridi. Or, unanza na baridi. Then there are other women who tell me, Usiku, mingu inakuwa baridi. Your feet are very cold. Yes. <laughs> so you remove them, you, you, you put socks. Mm-hmm. You put on socks. After some few minutes, now they are extra hot. Now you okay. remove the socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carol, you've done a whole episode on menopause. Yes. So I'm sure people, if people go to your channel, yes, they'll be yes. able to find this. Exactly. So we will direct them to your channel. Yes, but yes. I want us to quickly, because of the interest of time, to quickly go through the remedies mm-hmm. and the solutions to help us be able to cope with these symptoms. Okay. Because okay. we can't run away from them. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Most women, well, when they are going through menopause, their mm-hmm. estrogen levels go down. It means they, their sex, sex drive goes down. Then they get uh, vaginal dryness. Oh, so okay. sex becomes very painful for them mm-hmm. and they don't have any feelings because when your estrogen goes down, your testosterone goes high. So you, you become like a man. So you wow. not desire a man. So that is the first and the most 
that is one of the things that disturb women. So for the women who are experiencing vaginal dryness, I have gone back and studied and see how we can use happy vagina oil to keep the um, vaginal area, wake up the nerves. You see, the yes. nerves have forgotten their work. Eh? Mm -hmm. And also to keep it toned and happy. So the happy vagina oil is an oil that helps the vagina tone. Mm -hmm. And also it helps the vagina, uh, the vaginal nerves feel... To be away. Happy. Be able and to be stimulated. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a, really a stimulator, but for some women it ends up stimulating. Mm -hmm. And also healthy. Mm. Then number two, for the women who, have, who are experiencing... Um, the vaginal dryness during sex i have i have created a, a sex lubricant okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so and then for every every menopausal symptom that i have indicated yes. there is a relationship between their lack of magnesium magnesium the biggest problem that women experience in menopausal age is lack of magnesium. Mm. Unfortunately, our diet has minimal, Very minimal, minimal magnesium. Yes. And you get it from the vegetables and which all these we things, which take, we rarely take. Especially now. But there are two things I have learned help women. Number one is called avocado fruit. Avocado. Avocado. Fruit. Ataiki wa 50 to kule tu. <laughs> Even when please, we are complaining please. that avocado is 50 and the government is not doing I, anything now about I'm it. Now I'm telling men Valentine's give them avocados instead please, of Please, give me with avocados. All men in my life, my brothers, my husband, my everybody, Everyone give me avocados. avocados. So in, in your house, you should, in a day, if you can, do an avocado smoothie, do an avocado juice, eat an avocado, do a salad, anything. Seriously. It's, it's rich in magnesium. Mm -hmm. The second thing that is rich in magnesium is a fruit called cocoa. There's a fruit called cocoa. Yes, cocoa comes from a fruit and it's That's big from growing. Ghana. Ah, yes, okay, it's from okay. Ghana. Mm -hmm. So it is when after you take it, you ferment, you take it through a process, there are those who take and add dairy products and scurry and all these things and they give you chocolate. The one that you buy from the shelves. Uh huh. The, it's good. That one will be able to boost your magnesium so I should eat levels. Like you, you're you should telling eat. me some really good things, eh? <laughs> that we should be spoiled. Yes, but take care. <laughs> because that one has so much sugar and uh -huh. so much um, additives and, you know, all these oh. things. You need to invest in the original dark chocolate. It, is, it has less calories. Remember, during menopause, your body becomes very stubborn in weight management. Most women add weight during menopause. Oh. And the weight comes here okay. because of low estrogen. So be careful. Don't overdo the chocolate. You can also do cocoa. This is the original cocoa. You can also do... The drinking chocolate, but in in moderation. In, in mod moderation. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go now to you can add the other way you can add is soaking your body in magnesium sulfate. When you go to the salons and you do pedicure and manicure, they never tell you what they put in that water. It is magnesium sulfate, a salt called Epsom salt. If you go to my YouTube channel, Carol Your Health Coach, mm -hmm. I've indicated, I've shown you how you can do that at home mm -hmm. to increase the magnesium. Magnesium makes you angry. Low magnesium makes Low. you angry. Yes. Low magnesium makes you not sleep well. Low magnesium makes you not be able to absorb calcium. Low magnesium gives you makes your sex desires gone. Hmm. When the magnesium is lifted, everything else is sorted. So where do we find all these products? Because I know you can tell me where I can find dark chocolate. Yes. You can tell me where to, I can get the Epsom salt. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else do I need? You need Epsom salt, mm -hmm. happy vagina oil. You need uh, the sex lubricants. You need uh, the Epsom, the one for soaking, and mm -hmm. you need a probiotic because most women experience bloating and um, digestive issues as a symptom of menopause. So you need probiotic. Okay, don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, your body system changes. No, 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 don't scare me because I've had issues with bloating Bloat. for the longest time. Nine Even when we kulana. met, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sour. I'm too How young. <laughs> <laughs> so all these products are readily available at R&B mm -hmm. and R&B is rejuvenating nature's beam. Yes. If you can go to our website, our website has all these details. Mm. Our website is www.rnb.co.ke. Okay. Okay. You can also give us a call 0711-621563 or 0750-621563. One five six three. Else, you can visit us and have we can have a one on one session. I love it when women walk into my office. They are sweating. They are angry. And then by the time they are stepping up, they're like, "Oh, it's just menopause. I was going through. Ah, fine. Now I'm good. So come to our office. Let's have a session. Let's have these conversations. We are in Thika Town. 
a building called Retavia House where a consolidated bank is. And even if you call those numbers and maybe you're in Thika and you're lost, we will come for you and we will show you the directions. If not that, and you're in different towns, we are in different towns. I'll share with you, Josephine, all the details of all our shops, their locations, where you're and their available. contacts, and yes. you can share. On we will the definitely share section. in the yes. comments and in the description box. Yes, but we have all these answers, and menopause is not bad. It sounds very scary. It is scary, but with natural ways. It's a natural process, mm -hmm. and so we can only treat it naturally. Yes, yeah. and thank you for coming up with these amazing ways yes, to you. help us cope with uh, menopause, because it's a process that we cannot escape. True. It's part of growth yes. and we must be able to deal with it. That's true. So I'm really glad. Mm. And uh, how can we find your books? Yes, the same way from our website. Also, if you, 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 you make that phone call, The Glass of Life is all about smoothies and juices. And at the end, you'll find testimonials of people who have been benefited. Also, you need to know about water. I think we'll do a whole episode on water. We people need, to, need yes. to know why they need to drink water. And natural remedies have, a, like, it's a a summary of all this all this thing. yes wow this so, is so much we cannot finish in yes, one yes. episode the book this one is 2500 shillings kenyan shillings uh, that's 25 to 25 dollars or time something and this is 1600 200 yes okay. Okay. yes we'll do the math later <laughs> and you can also you can also get a hood mm. and and some other merchandise wow yes that is beautiful information i feel like we haven't exhausted no. but we will create more time to go through because I know you have so much more to offer. Thank you. And people need to know about this information. You need to know that there is a way you can naturally be able to solve life exactly. issues. Exactly. That uh, we experience each and every day. And you not only deal with women, mm. you have a whole range a for whole men. Range for That's men. a whole new conversation. Strong man wonder pack. <laughs> a strong man wonder pack. We need to discuss that next. <laughs> <laughs> that was our episode here on Pesetas. We had this amazing Peseta Caro, your health coach. Thank you. Men, we cannot get enough of her, and we will definitely invite her next for another episode where we will be able to unpack another package that he has for men guys need to stay tuned because this is your episode and i can't finish this episode without thanking the team behind this amazing work first of all i want to thank the r b team thank you for coming here Caribbean. thank you for sharing your journey thank you with the um, viewers of the pest setters uh -huh. you're um, an amazing pest setter and we are following your footsteps. We are watching you guys go visit her channel, Carol, your health coach yes. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Visit her and see all that she has to offer. I also want to thank a very special lady, Evelyn of Magadiwe Boutique. She is based in Ongatarongai and also she is in uh, Kiserian town. So visit her. She is uh, responsible for this amazing outfit. Thank you very much, Evelyn. And in shared moments with justice, Thank you for creating this opportunity where we can explore. I mean, we have so much to offer. So stay tuned and keep on subscribing, share, invite people to come and share and watch all this that we have. I have been your host for today, Esther Josephine. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.